MPL presents Crick Buzz Live. The last person you want to meet just now is Ravi Chandra Ashwin because he's got steam coming out of his ears, his nose, every orifice you can imagine. <laughs> he's got steam coming out. He thought he had the match under control. 155, 10 balls left, and then nine, 11 balls left. And then the keeper lets a bye go. AB comes in. AB hits the sixes. And then Vilio and comes in. And I only wish Vilio knew that uh, Polycock had predicted he'll go at the end. <laughs> <laughs> he was two overs for eight. Yeah. His last two overs cost 43. The last three have got 64. There's something happening in this year's IPL. All previous year's IPL, you've had 50 scored in the last three. Two, three, five and six. This year, I think there's already number 13 or 14. And we haven't come to the end of the IPL yet. Yeah, I, I still think there's a market for someone to uh, take this death boat into the next level and uh, really take it by the scruff of the neck and, and have a clear plan and really spend time researching the players you're going to come up against and making sure you've got a game plan. And then obviously once you've got that game plan, being able to apply the skills. Because we've seen it so often, don't you? And um, the sky's the limit, what these guys are doing, 20s, 25s even up to 30, um, it's not impossible. And As we were sitting here trying to work out who was going to get I the know, chair. <laughs> the MPL and super couch, it started from here, it went there, it almost <laughs> went there. At one stage, it didn't even look like get it was going to yeah. get there. At, yeah. at one know? stage, it looked like no one's yeah. going to get it. Mm. And then all of a sudden, the carnage began. Tell me honestly, as a retired bowler, mm. do you think I'm better off sitting here than no, going there? And I mean, even, even at my pace at the end, you know, as a 130, sure, it would have been hard work. But I do sometimes sit there, and I know it's maybe the kid in me just coming out thinking, I would love just to have an opportunity to bowl it over, you know, just to, yeah. to get an experience what these guys are going through, what the thought process are in, and then also just to say to yourself, okay, well, if I put that field, that field, and went to that option, would it work out a little bit better? Um, so I, I would like to feel it because there's no doubt the batsmen have improved. Uh, the 360s, in our days you used to bowl that Yorker and no one got down and really paddled you over 45. Now they do that, they'll do the reverse paddle. They don't miss hit uh, all that many deliveries. But you still think you would try and come up with something different and being able to execute. Yeah. So I think they'll be disappointed with that. And as you say, Ashwin's got a right to feel let down because um, you know, chasing 165, that's 170, that's nothing. But now over 202, um, sure. You get 700, how many in all? 400, 400 test wickets? How many one days? 300 and something? Yeah. You get 700 Don't worry wickets that. because you want to bowl the last over. But uh, it makes a valid point. Is the last over becoming, are the last overs becoming predictable? Because T20 is a constant fight between batsman and bowler. Batsman goes to one level, bowler finds something else, then the batsman goes up. Are the batsmen just here at the moment and the bowlers haven't found a way? I think what he said, that paddle sweep, is probably the only thing that's come new in the last yeah. 10, But funny, they're not playing it that much now. So, but, so what is happening is, because when the paddle sweep came in a few years ago, uh, you left out all the bowlers who were bowling those Yorkers. Because that was the only you know, thing that you could do against it, especially when it was swinging. And now then you come up with a plan and then you just stick to that. You know, this whole thing about the plan business rather than looking at what's happening. Like Stoinis today, who you would probably fear against. Today he wasn't having a good run. You want him to be at yeah. strike. So you've got to find a way to get AB to the other end. So those little things that people would plan within that ground doesn't happen anymore. And with that paddle sweep coming, you now you end up bowling length. You say, oh, I don't want to give him that shot. Whereas what you could do is just put that fine leg back. And forget about the paddle because the paddle would go for a six, not as yeah, often as it goes for a four. Yeah. And that wide, slower one or wide ball, even if you bowl a good ball. See, the, what, I, what I see the difference when he bowled or what the kids are bowling today is then when they got that ball right and they got the batsman to make a mistake, the batsman was out. The ball would go and hit the wicket. It would be wicket to wicket all the time. Now when you bowl a good ball... The batsman is still in there, so you won a battle, but you you know you're yeah. still struggling to you know get the batsman off strike. Funny, or a funny kind of game, wasn't it, Polly? There were uh, there were two parts to the game and nothing in between. Three parts. Three, in fact. Yeah. They got, they yeah. got two, seventeen three in the first six. <laughs> yeah. it, it was like two solid chunks of bread with with no filling in it. No, hundred percent. I mean, look at that. Seventy for one. You you can't tell me that you're going to end up at a hundred for four after thirteen overs. It was just like. RCB's lost their way. Yes, AB's still there, and and he had a he had a plan. I think after getting out in the last game, throwing it away a little bit, he was going to make sure that he was there at the back end. But then to get 103 in those last six, wow! 
But I mean, we're going back to the death body. You, yeah. you do see it. I mean, if we had to analyze that last over, uh, there was two deliveries that were just slot that went out the ground, and then the other one that went down to fine leg was a hip high full toss. So it doesn't matter how many plans you come up with. I mean, people talk, used to talk about slow balls. I used to say, well, it's no good having a slow ball up your sleeve if it's going to be a full toss or long hop because... It Five full toss in the last three overs. Yeah. So, I mean, there, there was too much of that and, that. and that's where I think Malinga was the one who nailed it. He absolutely used to nail it and there was no one who got down and paddled him. Then all of a sudden they started to paddle him and he went and changed his options. He wasn't as quick anymore, a lot more slow balls, all those kind of things. But I still think there is... Uh, there's got to be, in, in this modern day, with the amount of T20 cricket that's played, there's got to be someone who's going to say, you know what, I'm actually going to take this on. I'm going to just watch all the footage I can possibly watch of these bowlers or batsmen at the death, and I'm going to come up with a clear plan. You can't have the yeah. captain coming over to you and saying, try this, try that. But maybe, You've got maybe to that's know. the reason. Maybe that's what happens in, in, in the... In the, in the coaching setups as well, when you've got so many coaches, the coaches have got to justify their presence, right? Mm. But tell me, Virat and AB are this mutual admiration society. I just wonder, Virat sitting there and watching just now, mm. he's watching AB tee off again, he's again sitting.